Question number five. Now this one is a little bit different, right? So we covered question one through four already this week. This question, however, unfortunately, does not apply to every district in Massachusetts. I kid you not, I didn't make this up, but let's go ahead and get into it. That being said, this is a very, very important initiative because this ballot measure is about Medicare for all. I kid you not, here we go. I don't know if many people are talking about this. They may not even know about it, but this is huge. Question number five, Medicare for all added to 20 house districts. So let's go ahead and get into that. In the general election this year, some voters will see more than just four ballot questions. Voters in 20 house districts across the state will be able to vote on whether they will or will not support Medicare for all. See, this is another example. Steve and I were just talking, what did I just say? These progressive policies that Bernie Sanders ran on, we have passed them faster through the state level, at least here in Massachusetts. They haven't passed at all on the federal level. The non-binding question is the broadest in the state and will affect parts of Western Massachusetts. So like I told you, this doesn't affect every district. I'll get into that reason in a second. Voters in the second Berkshire, 6th, 7th, 8th, and 12th Hampton, and 2nd Franklin will see this on their ballot as question number five. So here's the deal. If you don't live in these areas, you will not see that question on your ballot. Just wanted to make that very clear. The question asks voters if they support single payer universal health care that provides the freedom to choose their own health care providers and eliminates the role of health insurance companies by creating an insurance trust fund that is publicly administered. One reason non-binding questions make the ballot is to pressure legislatures in districts where the question is asked to support the corresponding legislation on Beacon Hill. This one being an act establishing Medicare for all in Massachusetts. The voter's opinion has value and certainly in terms of the broader campaign. It is going to be used by those who are advocating for it to be able to say to that legislature, look, a majority of your constituents voted to support this. So it certainly has value, but I think, is it guaranteed that the legislator is going to vote that way? No, and this is the catch. It's not necessarily guaranteed that they're going to vote that way. Mass Care, and I'm gonna get into their site. The Massachusetts Campaign for Single Payer Health Care is behind the ballot initiative, and they had to collect 200 signatures in each house district to get the question on the ballot. This part is important as well. The question will also appear in parts of central and eastern Massachusetts, as well as the north and south shore. The seventh and eighth Hampton County will also be electing a new state representative. So I just want to show you what that looked like from Mass Care. So Mass Care is the organization that put this all together. Uh, I found out about them recently. I wish I knew that this was happening last year so I could have gotten involved and helped co uh, collect signatures as well. But I will also add uh, Mass Care will be here. They will be coming on not next week, but the following week. I tried to get them to come on before, but it's crazy hectic for them right now, if you can imagine, uh, with the midterms. But they will be here to discuss this. Now, on Mass Care's website, vote yes on question five. Mass Care and Act on Mass is on the ballot in 20 districts. So they even had a sign here where you can sign up to Canvas, you can sign up to Phone Bank. And I want to show you the areas where that it includes. I think it's easier for you to see it this way than the way that it was in, in that article. 
So for Western Mass, this is important so you can see who the representatives are. So we have the Berkshires, Belchertown. Don't laugh. Yes, there actually is a Belchertown here. Belchertown, Ludlow, Pelham, right? So that's 7th Hampton, Chicopee and Springfield, 6th Hampton, 8th and 12th Hampton, Greenfield, Athol, 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 I don't know. I've never heard of that town. Orange, okay, that's second, Franklin. If we go down central Massachusetts, we're looking at Acton, Carlisle, Chelmsford, Concord. Concord will probably vote no. See, you know what? I can already pick out the ones that I think are going to vote no because most of the wealthy towns are probably going to vote against. Concord and Acton are probably going to vote against it. I could be wrong, but we'll see. Berlin, Boylston, Clinton, Lancaster, Sterling, Northborough, Framingham, Marlboro. And then for Eastern Massachusetts, Arlington and Cambridge, that should be interesting because it's a lot of college students in Cambridge that don't actually live here as a resident per se. Boston, Dorchester, Mattapan, Jamaica Plain, and Milton. So these are the districts. Again, keep in mind, like when I say Boston, that doesn't mean all of Boston. It's just the districts that are listed here. So that's important for people to see. Malden, Medford, and Somerville. Again, these districts here, if you note your representatives. And on the North Shore, Newburyport, that's the only one, see, for the North Shore. And then for the South Shore, we're looking at Holbrook, Quincy, Weymouth, Hingham, Hall, and Cohasset. So those are the areas. Eric, if you can put the link to this page in the chat, just in case people want to look at this again on their own. But um, we'll see how this, how this works out in Massachusetts. Like I said, like this is kind of, they're kind of testing the waters here to see how many people in these districts are going to vote that way. And if the representatives are going to go ahead and vote yes, <laughs> basically. Um, but what is a non-binding ballot initiative? A non-binding public policy question is a question presented to voters in a specific state, Senate, or representative district. That's the difference. That's why it doesn't apply to the entire state. Hopefully, this passes the way that I, I hope that it will. I hope the majority vote in that way. So then it can put pressure on other counties here to say, you know what? We need to implement this as well. If this happens, then technically Massachusetts will be the first state in the United States to have Medicare for all. If it happens, we'll see. We shall see, ladies and gentlemen. Kill your egorgies. We did this in California. Looked good for a while, but didn't pass. You know, Mama Pelosi and the future 2024 President Gavin Gruesome, well, it didn't pass. I remember that. I remember that. But in California, correct me if, if I'm wrong, wasn't it that they wouldn't bring it to the floor for a vote even though they had the votes? I, I thought that's what happened in California, but I could be wrong.